Good morning. Have you ever said, hey, that's not fair? Well, maybe you went to get a cookie and there were none left. Or maybe you have a brother or sister who goes to bed later than you. And to you, that doesn't seem fair. But I mean, there's a reason that they go to bed later. But still, it doesn't seem fair. Well, our Bible lesson today is from the book of Matthew, the first book in the New Testament. And in this story, Jesus' disciples are arguing about what's fair and what's not fair. And so to help them understand how God thinks about fairness, Jesus told this parable. He said that a landowner or a farmer had to have work done, and so that farmer hired a lot of people. And he told them, I will pay you what is fair. So at the end of the day, there were some people who had worked eight, nine, 10 hours all day long. But there were some people who only worked one or two hours and the farmer paid them all the same. Now, you can imagine the people who worked all day said, that's not fair. But the landowner or the farmer said, I have done you no wrong. Now, Jesus was hoping the disciples and that we would understand that the landowner or the farmer was an example of how God understands fairness. God understands fairness as generosity. He didn't care, the farmer didn't care how long the people worked. He maybe thought they had some really good reason for only coming the last hour or two. And that's how God understands fairness. God equates fairness with generosity. God doesn't care what you've done or what you haven't done, where you live, what color of your skin, or any of those things. God wants everyone to have what they need. And he, God wants us to help people get what they need. In God's mind and in our hearts, fairness equals generosity and equality. Let us pray. Dear God, help me to follow the stories of Jesus that lead me to you and the way you want me to love others. In Jesus' name, amen.